And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be unlocking flying on our Grand Company Chocobo. And as always, hello from Mifri. So the prerequisite for this quest is that ideally you want to be flying already. You want to have already fully attuned yourself to a zone, which we have in this case to Corfon Western Highlands, which you can see here, achievement complete. And you need to as well have done up to the main scenario quest for the expansion called Where the Chocobos May Roam. And then you come to, right here, X7, Y11 in Foundation in the Holy Stables, and you talk to this person, this Arnuli, Arnulane. So the quest is called I Believe I Can Fly. We'll get a flyer chaffron, headgear designed specifically for flying chocobos. So... Arna Lane believes your chocobo capable of reaching still greater heights. So, pardon me for saying so, friend, but you stink. Not in an, an unpleasant stink, mind you, rather you stink of chocobo. A distinctive scent for which I must confess a certain fondness. Not the musky aroma of a wild bird, nor the common scent of a rental chocobo who has carried thousand. No, yours is a sting singular and true. Would I be correct to surmise that you are the proud owner of your very own bird? Of course I am. As a chocobo trainer, I practically sleep in these stables. Gives you a nose for this sort of thing. If you catch my if you catch my drift. But enough about me. You must tell me all about your faithful steed. Dogaku, is it? A fine name that. And issued by a grand company, you say? I know, the grand companies of Eorzea to have many fine birds in their ranks. But if you all if all you say is true, I dare say your bird is particularly stalwart specimen. So, what's this? Your bird even has been trained in four times uh, methodology. I knew I detected a cultured aroma in that scent. Why, I've not sniffed such a remarkable bird in 10, no, 20 years. Such singular strength and intellect, why, it would not surprise me if your bird could learn to fly. Oh, I can assure you this is no jest. While it is true that only chocobos, black feather, and natural born flyers, there are records of other breeds that have been trained to take up to the skies. I can understand your scepticism, but to a student of chocobo breeding such as myself, this is little surprise. After all, the flyers and the flightless possess common ancestry. The grounded birds do not lack the physical capacity, but they have merely forgotten how for lack of necessity. I dare say that if any chocobo could be trained to take to the heavens like this feathered forefathers, it is your Togaku. What say you, friend? My brother Priofax is a chocobo trainer at Tailfeather, and something of an expert in these training methods. Bring your bird to him, and I tell you, friend, the sky is the limit. Okay. So let's go to the tail feather, which is the reason why it's a prerequisite for us to have done where Chocobos may roam. So we know that at least we've gone to tail feather before. Because that's pretty much where the, that quest leads us to. So it's all starting to come together now. It's all starting to make sense. Because a lot of people have been asking, like, how do I make, how do I make a flying Chocobo? How do I make my Chocobo fly? Where do I unlock things and so on? So I felt a need to just start making guides about it so I can answer people's questions. So here is Prior Fox. Let's talk to him. Or her, even. Is it him or her? I can't even tell. Oh, it's a him. Okay. So the hair left me <laughs> unsure. So oh, you must be one of Odor Lane spoke of. Yes, there can be no mistaking it. That is a scent of a remarkable bird. A bird who is destined for the heavens. But why are we talking when we could be flying? Yes, let us begin the training without further ado. The process of teaching a flightless chocobo to soar involves awakening the instincts of his flying forebears that lie dormant within. The most efficient way to do so is to allow it to experience the life of a wild bird. 
Take the chocobos that run free throughout the chocobo forest. These birds uh, subsist in wild fruits and berries, but to secure sustenance, they must fly or their lives against hordes of vicious insects. Yes, if your Togaku were to experience the thrill and fear of staring down the bee clouds of Dravania, it might not be long before the blood of a flyer stirs within those veins. Okay, so we need to slay a Dravanian bee cloud, which is right here. So let's go. So here is my trusty Togaku. In case anyone's wondering, the name Togaku is after my best friend from World of Warcraft. Someone who was, well, is very, very dear to me. Just I haven't spoken to her for a couple of years now. And, um, you know, I figured that, you know, what other name... And you can see a lot of my past, a lot of my history from other games is coming forward into this game. You know, it's like uh, I can't remember the years I spent in World of Warcraft, which is why I carry the name Menafil. So anyway, ooh, so let's, let's do these. Let's summon our... It says, it says where's your chocobo summon? So let's kill these bee clouds. Otherwise, it won't count. There's wild chocobos here as well. But I'm not going to kill chocobos unless I'm ordered to. So I won't kill this chocobo. I'll just simply reset it. I, I have a thing. Like, I, I couldn't live with myself if I killed a chocobo. <laughs> okay, so let's just kill this. Oh, Bitham Buddies is almost done, which is the challenge log for the Chocobo. Okay, so that's that done. So let's report now. We're going to withdraw to Gaku, because I said I'm not going to kill Chocobo for fun. I'm only ever going to do it if I'm told to. I don't even need to call Peter about that one. That is fact. You know, you can't ask me to kill a chocobo. Okay, so let's uh, let's go. It's like asking me to kill a horse. You know what I mean? It's like I just won't do it. So I see that the training goes well. Excellent. In the Chocobo Forest, your bird experienced the thrill of battle and heard with its own ears the buzzing of those infernal bees. Many scholars pose it that this sound plays an important role in awakening the dormant abilities of a flightless bird. Most Chocobos that we export are captured not long after they leave the nest. Likely your bird is hearing these sounds for the first time in its life. For now, for the next stage in the training, your chocobo must feel the same wind that its ancestors once knew. And yet this wind blows in a place that the average bird would be hard pressed to reach. Fortunately, the chocobo has a keen sense of smell, and that is where you come in, friend. Travel to the highest points in Tailfeather and Falcon's Nest. Let the wind embrace you, and let the bird take in the scent. Surely this will go far to awaken the memories of Togaku's high-flying forebears. Okay, so what is the highest point in... Let's see, it's the highest point in Tailfeather. Is... Oh, it's all the way up here, apparently. Okay. So they just mean figuratively, like I don't actually have to fly like straight up or anything. I hope we can do it, finish this quest now. If not, I'll have to complete the quest when I've unlocked flying in Dravania. Okay, so where are we going? We need to go... Right here. And my... 
trusty Togaku, who I've dyed Regal Purple, which is my favorite color, both in game and in real life. Uh huh. So we have. Seems like we have to go up this tower. Okay, yeah, we have to go way up here. Maybe they'll ask us to, like, jump off. Okay, let's go. I'll try not to chunk bow my way up just so I don't fall off. Okay, so. So, bathe in the wind atop that. So, let me summon Togaku before I do that. So, the crisp whims of the Dravanian forelands envelop you. What memories will they awaken within Togaku? Okay, so we need to do the same at Falcon's Nest. So we need to go, let's see, way, way over here. But thankfully, we've already actually unlocked flying. So we will be able to get there quickly. So we'll go on our Collector's Edition Griffin Mount to get there as quickly as we can. And then we will get it done. So let me dismiss. And this is a reason why I'm, I'm always holding like a stack of nearly 99 Geisel Greens because I do have to summon to Gaku and dismiss her quite often. So I, I love the fact that we can fly in this game. It's literally one of the only things I miss from World of Warcraft. And also the only other thing I miss from World of Warcraft um, other than the people is the Phoenix. I want there to be a Phoenix mount in this game so Square Enix if you're watching Please have a Phoenix mount. I will pay $30 for that. You know, I want a Phoenix. I need one. It is. It represents everything good in me, having a Phoenix mount. I can fly. So anyway, almost there. Nice. So like getting around is obviously very, very fast. Watch, we can, we can fly. So let's summon Togaku. Destination. So, the brisk winds of Corphus envelop you. What memories will they awaken within Togaku? So we need to report now to... Well, we need to go back to him. So let's teleport back to the Tail Feather. Okay. So let's go... And one of the conveniences will be when Togaku can actually fly is that if we have Togaku summoned while we're leveling and we're killing mobs, it means that we can still have a round, still mount on her, still fly on her and so on without having to summon other chocobos or other mounts. So here is Briar Fox. So I can smell the winds upon you, friend. I have no doubt that the same can be said for your faithful Togaku. With this, your bird's training is complete. The final stage of the training is yours. You need only to learn to read the winds that you might lead your chocobo safely and surely upon them to read the winds you must be attuned to the currents of aether yes read them well send your bird soaring high into the heavens be proud to gaku uh, friend for only the bravest and brightest of birds succeed in learning to fly i gladly give you this as a reward to both of you be well and may we meet again in the skies above So cool. So we're going to get a Flyer Saffron. Headgear specifically designed for flying chocobos. So that's complete. So Togaku has learned to fly. Nice, nice, nice. So, and we got the achievement Walking on Sunshine. So let's now use the Flyer Saffron. Let's see if we can equip it actually on Togaku. Because right now she's wearing the Ramu set for lols. So let's see. Appearance, headpiece. 
Where is it? Where is it? Um. Sorry, what was it called again? Yeah, here we go. Flyer Saffron. So let's see. Can we also as well... Is it a full set or is it just a one-off? Let's see. Is there a flyer for the body or is it just a headpiece? It seems like it's just a, a headpiece, but it makes sense. They're kind of like goggles, so they look actually really funny. So let's as well check these other ones. Yeah, it's just a one-off. So it's just a headpiece, but look at that. So now, because she's a flyer, Togaku is a flyer. Let's mount her up. Let's get a good look at her. So, wow, look at that. <laughs> so you get some cool uh, goggles. So let's let's go to Falcon's Nest and let's let her fly. So, oh, that's the point, actually. You can now actually teleport, in case you don't know, while mounted. Which is something I really need to get used to, because I'm so used to dismounting before I teleport. Okay, so let's do this. So be brave to Gaku. All you have to do is jump and you will fly. So just believe. Believe. So one, two, three, jump. Oh yeah. So she can fly. Togaku can fly. So anyway guys, that's how you fly on your Grand Company Chocobo. So we can now fly on the Black Chocobo and the Griffin Chocobo on... Togaku as well. Oh, yeah, and one other thing they've said, in case you already have it, you can actually fly on the fat chocobo, which I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to see. So let's now fly on the fat chocobo just for the sake of it. So we're going to again dismiss Togaku, but first let us put the fat chocobo on our bar. Let's put that there. So we have to uh, dismiss so Gaku, just for now, I'll see you soon, my friend. And then let's see, Fat Chocobo. Um, I don't know if this is going to end well, but we can pray. So we're going to jump off this high top and hope we fly. So here we go. Let's, okay. One, two, three. Wait. Wow, there you go. That is hilarious. That... Rather than holding a Geisel Green, you hold a cake to make the fat Chocobo fly. Wow. That is funny. That is hilarious. You know, but I will, I will probably be using Togaku a lot for flying anyway. Because like I said, I, I will be leveling her a lot. She's already halfway to rank 11. Then I'll feed her another Tavarian Onion and so on. But wow, look at that. That is funny. <laughs> that is really cool. So anyway, guys... Um, that's a good time to end the episode. Um, so let's quickly, just for the sake of it, let's see how high you can fly. Yep, you can fly as high just as everyone else. Let's land on the top of here. Okay. So I'm sure some of these locations, it would surprise me if some of these areas are for the sightseeing log for the Eversward, but we'll get to that in the future. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Hope you liked it. And... I will see you next time. So as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri.